Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, indexes, and this is going to be my daily forecast of the S&P 500, Dow Jones, and the Nasdaq for Thursday, October 8, 2020. If you'd like to support this channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner. That helps a lot in order to grow our channel and for us to make new content. Um, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos that we produce now on a daily basis. So, first of all, everybody should be paying attention to Donald Trump's uh, Twitter account because uh, it can basically destroy your trading strategies. So, um, this red candle here, stick here is due to one tweet from the President of the United States. And this other green candle here is probably due to the second tweet that Donald Trump made on the um, negotiations about the United uh, for the stimulus packages, which is at this point almost certainly completely dead. There is almost no way that Democrats will go back to the negotiating table before the elections and make a new stimulus uh, bill. It does just at this point just doesn't make any sense. Even the uh, the proposed sold that Donald Trump made about I think twelve hundred dollars uh, checks, which he just wants to do because he wants to sign his his name on every each check, which he thinks will boost his uh, re-election bid. That's not going to happen. And you have several uh, senators from uh, from Democrat and congressmen saying. That's just not going to happen. So this market, in order to go higher, we know from the chairman of the Federal Reserve, needs another uh, stimulus package in order to go higher. And at this point, we are stuck within this area here. And I don't expect this, uh, this market to go higher. Um, so at this point, we are rallying. We are at $3,425 at this point. And I do believe that we are just going to stay within this range uh, for quite some time. It was really surprising that Donald Trump's tweet yesterday only had this effect. I expected the market when it opened on in Asia to absolutely collapse, at least towards the 100 moving average. But we got down to the 20 exponential moving average and then we basically bounced. So, as long as that is the case, and um, horrible news or horrible tweet like that doesn't completely collapse this market, then this market is fairly resilient. Uh, I can't really imagine what other news uh, can be produced at this, bad news can be reduced at this point to basically break this market all the way down to the 100 uh, moving average. And just don't see that happening at this point. Um, so we'll most likely trade above these, uh, at least the 50 moving average. I don't expect this market to go to the all time highs uh, because uh, of the resistance that is within this area. So we'll probably just trade sideways. If we were to break through here, then yes, we'll go to in these uh, levels. If we were to break down from here, we'll go towards the 100 moving average. It is technically as simple as that. The technical indicators today are fairly bullish, all of them, both for the MACD, RSI, the stochastic, and the bullish demand is technically showing that we are basically at the top. We may turn around towards this moving average within the Bollinger Band, like we did previously, and then just stay within this range. So we may just see a market that is stuck within this range of around 100 to 200, um, $200 dollars, certain points. Um, yes, that's about it. So look at the Dow Jones. Dow Jones rallied, but we ran into resistance in this area here. And this is very similar to the S&P 500. I didn't expect the market to completely collapse. It didn't. We rallied today, 
up towards the resistant area here and at this point I'm just waiting for this market to basically turn around towards the 50 moving average again. Um, this market did not break the 50 moving average yesterday uh, due to Donald Trump's tweet. So to get all the way back, back towards the 100 moving average, um, well, something really surprising has to happen. Um, the technical indicators are all really bullish. So at this point, if we break this area here, we'll go to these highs. If we, uh, if we break down, then we'll go to the 50 moving average. So we may see something similar to, uh, the, to the S&P 500, where we're basically stuck within 20, uh, 27,700 to 28,300, within this range for the foreseeable future. We need to break these levels in order to go up or to go down. So, the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is finding resistance at this area once again. Same thing here as well. This tweet broke all the way down to the 40 exponential moving average. We did not break underneath, not even close. Uh, we shot up today, found resistance in this area at 11,500. And for this market, for the seeable future, we'll probably stay within this range. We need to break this resistant area uh, area here in order to go to the all-time highs. I don't believe that's going to happen without any stimulus, and there's not going to be any stimulus uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, if we break down towards uh, through this level here, we'll go to these levels, and uh, that is 10,700. But a lot needs to happen for that to happen. The technical indicators for uh, the NASDAQ are fairly bullish at this point, nearly all of them. Uh, but I do believe we'll just stay within this area. A lot of choppiness for the foreseeable future. If you find this video helpful, you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hitting the bell button and the like button. Um, and pay attention to Donald Trump's Twitter feed because technically this can happen. You can break your account and with just one tweet. Good luck and happy drink. Thank you.